Hi, once again, uh, today uh, I have the pleasure of being joined by Todd Partridge, and Todd is the Vice President of Operations for Move It, and Move It is a company that I'm very familiar with because uh, I started in business in 1978, and uh, uh, under under uh, Todd's father, uh, started in 1979. So Todd, welcome to uh, Healthcare Business News. Yeah, hey, hi Phil, <laughs> great to see you again and, uh, and appreciate the opportunity to do this. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, and you know, you're a really positive guy when anyone's ever around you, they always have a good feeling. Uh, tell me, how has the industry, uh, what's going on in the, in the third party logistics business? that we need to know about. It's, you know, it's, it's, this pandemic has affected everyone differently um, and not positively in, in, in any sense with almost anybody. Um, transportation, third-party logistics, uh, it's, it has had its challenges for sure. And it's also, um, we've all, all of a sudden, everybody is learning about supply chain. <laughs> the things that, uh, that, some of us have known all along about you know about how fragile the supply chain is um, but also about how adaptive it is which has been um, i've seen a, a lot of people who have been you know a lot of uh, truckers and warehousing companies and and it's uh, state by state and market by market that have had a severe negative impact that have shifted gears um, for example, somebody that's used to hauling furniture into people's houses, um, we, we now have them hauling uh, hand sanitizer that a distillery made for one of our restaurant companies, things like that. Um, you know, so I think it, it, it points to some weaknesses, but it also points to some strengths. And, uh, and that's, that's my takeaway from it so far. Yeah, uh, the way your uh, subcontractors, I'm not sure what they're called, but the, the, the trucking companies that move freight for you, since you mm -hmm. use a wide variety of trucking companies, mm -hmm. do you have any protocols that you ask them to follow for, to keep things uh, sanitized? Um, yeah, you know, that's something that is developing as we go. A lot of it was initiated by customer request. Um, so for example, early on, um, you know, before, you know, there's kind of, this thing is kind of a wave, right? Before we all knew exactly what it was, and then we know what it is, and then, you know, how it's changing as it goes on. Um, we did some deliveries um, when New York City was on lockdown, for example. We, you know, transportation as an essential uh, element or entity, we were able to go into New York City with uh, supplies, um, ventilators, um, masks, uh, stretchers, everything you can think of um, into New York City. And that was the very first time, that was early in March, I think, when we, uh, we had our first request for drivers with uh, masks and gloves. Um, and now, since then, um, we've complied with that in a lot of markets. Most, uh, most drivers, most, uh, because transportation's on the leading edge, um, a lot of it's initiated by the transportation company because they're also concerned. Um, almost all the hospitals have protocols in place and we call ahead. So we've added that to our, our call. You know, is there any uh, PPE that's required? Um, and then the other thing is when a driver, this has come to fore a couple times, when a driver has tested positive and has delivered to some locations, we have to go back through and notify those locations and let them know that they had an infected driver. Um, so Boy, that, yeah, that has to be a, a concern. Yeah. Have the prices, has the cost of freight uh, changed during the pandemic? Yeah, it's, it's really yo-yoed. Um, and I follow a lot of, uh, a lot of different modes um, and industries uh, from ocean freight to air freight to uh, spot pricing rates on truckload, dry truckload, blanket wrap truckload, flatbed truckload, tankers. Um, so there's not a broad brush answer for any of those. Um, it's really varied by, um, by mode and by geographic area. So um, it's been a buyer's market in a lot of places and a lot of industries. A lot of trucks are sitting idle 
Um, I know one of my customers does uh, store fixtures, for example, a blanket wrap. In addition to doing medical and computers, they do store fixtures. And a lot of the stores stop them. The manufacturing process continued. Um, so the, the factory said, hey, can you bring some trucks out? And we just need them for storage because we're still manufacturing, but, but our, uh, you know, our restaurants won't accept delivery. Um, so it created all kinds of backlogs. And I think it, it depends on if that's going to just come like a log jam down the river and burst open, or if it's going to open up slowly. Um, but I would say in general, um, in general rates have declined. Um, I think most people are seeing revenue drops of around 20 to 30% in the last two months. I see. Yeah. Now you, uh, Move It was one of the first companies to adopt uh, a software program to track, uh, to, to, for ordering, requesting mm -hmm. a pickup and so forth. How's that going? Um, well, so one, if there is, you know, and there are, you know, as you talk to people, you know, this, this uh, pandemic has put us all, for example, our workforce um, is mostly working from home um, still. Um, and uh, thankfully, our, our software systems, because in Iowa, we're used to, uh, to blizzards um, with a flip of the switch, you know, everybody's ready to online and ready to roll. Um, so... If there was a silver lining for us, um, we did, you know, our business overall declined. It, it, it increased in some markets, but we were able to um, focus on developing some initiatives a lot for customers, um, like fine tuning our mobile app and things like that, and a customer dashboard portal for making appointments for delivery and things like that. So I would say that's, you know, when we started this business in 1979, <laughs> There weren't, um, there weren't many computers at all. Everything was by paper. And I would say this, you know, it's becoming more and more and more and more automated to where um, I think Amazon drives at the Amazon economy, um, the Amazon tools, we all become expectant that you can take a picture of the freight that, and send it, that, that it'll be attached to the order that you can sign from a mobile device. Um, so right. it, it's, it's become more and more important. Well, I know you're on the cutting edge and, uh, you know, I, I appreciate you spending time with us today and uh, your insights and it's interesting. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that uh, this is pertinent to. So thanks for joining us, Todd. You bet. Uh, thanks. Thanks for having me and our, and our thoughts go out to everyone, all of our medical uh, shippers for sure, because I know it's been a, tr a trying time for them and our, and our hospital partners and people like that. So thanks for doing this. Appreciate it from Batman. Thank you.